Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Game Mechanics. The show where we analyze the quirks and cliches of all the favorite games that we have come to love. Today we're going to be talking about that classic in-game mechanic where, if you shoot a red barrel, it's going to explode. My name is Mr. Eggy Weasel, and I'm Mal, and we are, are the, the Game, Game Mechanics. Oh no, sprung a leak, sprung a leak. Oh, 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 oh god, oh god, oh god. Well, that's, that's gonna, gonna cost you. <laughs> what the fuck? Now, if you're anything like us, when you explore an area and see one of those tasty cylindrical tubes filled with oil, gases, and all sorts of goofy goof, the first thing you think is, if I hit this, explode and more than likely it does now Mason yeah when you see a red barrel what is your first thought it looks pretty dangerous maybe I should avoid it because why because if I hit it or it gets knocked over or something it's, it's gonna, gonna explode explode and it's gonna explode it's gonna ah. make a big boom it's gonna bust out all the windows all the doors even the floors even the floors anything nearby if you're playing battlefield it's all gonna blow 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 it's gonna blow up right in your face and you don't want to be anywhere near that barrel do you no you know why why? You've been trained as a gamer to know that if you get anywhere near a barrel, then the possibility of explosion and death will increase. Wow, that is true. But Mason, did you know that barrels come in all different shapes, sizes, and colors? Whoa, really? Yes. We got red barrels. Red barrels explode. Yeah, but what about yellow barrels? Yellow barrels are more filled with even more explosives. That or, if shot, will leak oil. Oil? That doesn't sound good. No, no, it doesn't. But then there's blue barrels. Blue barrels? Yes, blue barrels are normally... Are those even bigger in explosion? No, no, no. Blue barrels are morally filled with more water and uh, oil. Exploding they, water? No, no, no. They, they don't explode. They're not compressed. They're just barrels filled with water. Okay, that's not so bad. The, yeah, they're kind of the on the layman of uh, explosive barrels. That's pretty safe. If I could shoot a blue but barrel... If you ever need to put out a fire, boom. Oh, yeah! Blue barrel. Shoot that blue barrel. But then there's green barrels. Oh, I'm sure they're just great. No, they're actually one of the worst. Because green barrels are normally filled with poison gas and acidic materials that is very dangerous to players. Ah, that sounds terrible! Exactly! Who's putting all these things in barrels? Um, some sort of demonic creature who hates barrels. Oh, God. I'm talking about you, James. You gotta stop that. Alright, Mason. Yeah? I'm gonna give you a scenario. Okay. You see an enemy. Standing next to one of those delicious red barrels that we've been talking about this whole time. I see you, James. You're on a stealth mission. Okay. But the enemy is literally sitting on the red barrel. Sitting? On it? No. Why is he doing that? He's standing next to it, actually. Okay, he's... Oh, man, that's dangerous. Hey! Hey, what? mister! Get away from that barrel! No, 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 no. Do you want to shoot him, or do you want to shoot the barrel? I don't know! I could... If I shoot him... He'll just die, right? He'll die right but if I shoot the barrel, won't he die anyway? Yes, he'll die anyway, but in a more fantastic explosion of fireball of goodness. Oh, wow. Sign me up. Sign me up. You are gonna shoot the barrel. What's up now? Barrel! Boom! He just went flying. Killer combo! So, Mason, did you know that explosives also come in different types of configurations? Yeah, like barrels. Yeah, barrels and small propane tanks. And big propane tanks? Exactly. And also propane tanks that, if shot, will go flying into the air. It's like a rocket. Or also like crates with TNT on it. And vehicles, which we all know are just moving explosives. Ah! But Mason, there are different ways to blow up things besides shooting them, you know that? Mm, really? Like in the classic game of Bioshock 2, your character gets the ability to light things on fire. And whenever you see oil on the ground, like in classic video game fashion, if you light the oil on fire, it will set everything ablaze, and if the oil leads to anything explosive, it's gonna explode. Boom! That was the sissiest boom sound I've ever heard. But did you know, there's more to explosive barrels than meets the eye. Yeah, even though that the trope or cliche of exploding barrels kind of predates video games in general, like going back to old action movies and whatnot where they will shoot the barrels and they'll explode. It's like, you want an explosion, put a barrel there. It's got gunpowder, it's got oil, it's got whatever. You shoot it, it blows up. The first known instance of it being in a video game was in 1974, which predates the Atari 2600 on a Dungeons and Dragons game, which was mostly like a tabletop game, but it did have a video game version where if you shot a barrel full of gunpowder, it would explode 
cause damage to the surrounding area and to you, player. Lighting things on fire as well. Yeah, lighting things on fire. Exactly. Blowing things up. And beyond that, explosives have appeared in a lot of first-person shooters. Usually it's like, it's both a use of attacking enemies and also a deterrent from just shooting wildly. And also a distraction. Yeah, you could distract an opponent. Let's say there's a stealth mission, like we were saying before, and somebody's walking around. And, and you see something in the distance and you could shoot it and their attention will be pointed towards that and not you. So that you can move stealthily. Contrary to popular belief in video games, you cannot actually blow up a propane tank by shooting it alone. Oh, really? Normal bullets and normal guns alone are not enough to produce a propane explosion. You need a substantial amount of firepower and an exceptionally large gun to get an explosion to happen out of propane tanks. Take this clip from Mythbusters, for example. The Mythbusters have blown holes a mile wide in the myth that 007 could make a propane tank explode using his 9mm handgun. It took explosives to create a bond-worthy blast. But the fans will say, you didn't use incendiary rounds. We tried shooting our propane tank with three different guns and trace around. Still no explosion. But our friends at <laughs> have decided to let us use their Gatling gun with incendiary rounds and a much bigger propane tank. You know, this just might work. Now the Gatlin minigun shoots 50 rounds a second. This is propane tank with incendiary rounds. Going hot. Three, two, one. That is awesome. So, in summary, if you see a red barrel, before you shoot it, ask yourself, why? And then shoot it anyway. And that's it for our show, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mr. Yo Weasel. And I'm Mal. And this has been Game yeah. Mechanics. <laughs> oh god. 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 Oh